All right, so, what's up? What's up? It's my first YouTube video, my very first YouTube video. And I'm doing the get to know me tag to introduce myself so you guys know who you're watching, what you're watching, who I am, what I am. I'm doing a mukbang style. So I have fried Oreos and boneless chipotle, honey chipotle wings. And I'm drinking a good old country favorite, Big Red. So, let's get started. First question, were you named after anyone? So, funny story. My name is very like, I take my name serious and people take my name serious. Um, so I was named after some people. So, but my, my name has history. So my first name is about, you know, just my family. Like they've always wanted justice. And so my name's Justice. And then my middle name is to carry on um, my great grandfather on my mother's side, uh, my maternal great grandfather's name. So that's my middle name. And then my last name is just my dad's last name. Um, and so, yeah, that's my name. That's what um, when was the last time you cried? Who? That's a good one. Hmm. I think, I think the last time I cried was maybe a week ago when I watched Just Mercy. Because the movie was just so emotional. And it just says a lot about where we are today right now. Um, and, and the facts of how black people are valued in America. And um, the, the injustices that black people face. And how innocent men are going to jail every day. Um, and never getting an opportunity to get justice. Never getting an opportunity to... For the people to hear their truth, how the media can convict you before you're ever convicted. It's just, it was very, 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 very emotional for me. Share your favorite subject in high school. Okay, so my favorite subject in high school. And I don't know if all schools have this. I don't think all schools have this. I think, I think it's something my school my um, alma mater actually created. Um, but we took a class, I took a class called Methods of Academic and Personal Success. And so it was a class that taught you methods to use to maintain academic and personal success. So it dealt with social, emotional intelligence, it dealt with finance, it dealt with planning, it dealt with goals, um, studying people's lives, studying your own life, reflection it was just a very very amazing class shout out to miss allen Brittany allen shout out to her um it was just a really 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 great class it was an amazing class um it, and it gave me things that i use today things that i still use today um while i am in a place of adulthood that i'm what is your favorite song at the moment so I actually have two right now. Um, first one is Lie to Me by Kim because he just goes in depth about why he doesn't need his woman to lie to him, how he already knows that he wants to marry her, how he already knows that she's the one and there's absolutely no need for him, for her to lie to him. That no matter what she says, she's going to be the one for him. Um, and then my other one well I actually have three my other one is wake up baby by Jill Scott she's talking about how in the song she talks about how she ran she she's met this guy and 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 for this guy she'll do anything because he's just so great and she'll do things that her grandmother even tells her are stupid and then in the song 
she has she sings and sings the conversation that her grandmother has with her while this man is um coming coming to the house but he doesn't do the things that um that he should do i'm a southern girl and so if you're gonna date me there are things you should do that i if you don't do them i see and i observe for example um opening doors getting out of the car and coming in and letting my family know where you're taking me um those are important things to me um or excuse me but now where i'm at now you don't necessarily need to tell my family where you're taking me but you need to come in and walk me from my door make sure that i'm safe i think mean, she should make you should be a a literal um safety you should be a person of safety for me um and then another one is things you do back here share it's oh my gosh it's like it's a bop it's a bop and it's sanctified um and it's just it's really good it's like a love love r&b song with jesus like you talk you talking to jesus and god about how, like how great he is and like how he makes you feel great as a woman and he makes you feel secure in who you are and and i'm like in this when i first listened to the song i said any man that i date he's got to be like this um next question what would you name your children? I don't have any kids. And my kids' name would depend upon their father. Um, I think it's admirable that my mom gave me my father's initials just because I, they didn't. neither one of them had a son. Um, and so I still kind of carried my father's legacy. Um, and so I would do the same thing. Our kids would have the same initials as my, their father. Um, have you participated in any sports? Yes, I have. I have participated in dance. I have participated in dance and cheer. And I say that dance and cheer are sports because they can we condition and we work out just like athletes that play basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and all of that other stuff. And for a slight moment, I um for a very short period of time I participated in cross country and track. I did not enjoy it and the practices were extremely early and I, it just wasn't for me. Um What is your favorite book? My favorite book at the moment would have to be Becoming by Michelle Obama. Becoming is like a Becoming is a playbook for how to be a successful woman of color in every aspect of your life. Raising children, falling in love, um, coming from a well a well balanced family, um all of it. And I just admire Michelle Obama. She's the most educated first lady America has ever had. She's the only first lady America has had with a PhD. And she is the only first lady of color. Um, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving because I like to eat. I like food and I like family and I like fun. And the older I get, the less Christmases like that I care for it just because Christmas is like eh. like I, I'm, I grew out of the joy of like waking up in the morning for gifts early in life like it didn't take me long to be like yeah y'all can have the gifts um On a scale from one to 10, rate your childhood. I'm gonna rate my childhood. And when I say childhood, I'm talking about like from five to 13. I'm gonna rate that an eight. I was a heathen. I used to like to fight. And, um, but I have lots of great memories and I made some of the best friends that I still have around that age. 
Have you been out of the country? Yes. Your girl got a passport. Your girl is international. Yes, I've been out of the country. Sorry, I'm trying to chew. All right, so. Do you speak any different languages? I speak that good old Spanglish. I speak Spanglish, and I think that should count. I realize I haven't ate any fries, y'all, so I'm gonna eat some of these fries, because I haven't ate any fries. Um. So I speak that good old Spanglish. Do you have any siblings? I got thousands of sisters, literally. Thousands of sisters around the globe. I don't have no biological siblings, but I count my sis sisters, my sororers. Shout out to my sororers. Those all so pretty women of Alpha, Kappa Alpha, Sorority Incorporated. I love you. And I will forever be your sister. Um, what is your favorite store? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, y'all. For me to be in my 20s, y'all are probably gonna laugh at me. But my favorite store is between three places. Nordstrom's, Neiman's, and Dillard's. Um, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is anywhere that has a seafood boil with good old R&B and hip hop music. And, um, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, so, excuse me, so I am a big supporter of black YouTube, so these are my favorite YouTubers. Raven Elise. Gold Juice. Shout out to Olivia and Will. Ashley Devana, oh yes. And Cinderella OG, my soror. And lately I have been getting into, I wanna say her name correctly. She's from Dallas as well. I think she's a really, really cool chick. Um, I would love to collab with her and get to meet her. So y'all like hit her up in the comments, like down in the comments. Like y'all help me collab with her. Um, Jalissa. E. Vaughn. She just recently got married, so her new name is Jefferson. And yeah, she's like, I love her content. I love what she's about. I love that she is a woman that is modest and sophisticated, yet sexy and confident and saved. Okay? What are some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, this is easy. Sisters is number one. I'm so ready for Sisters season two to come on. Like, y'all don't even understand. Catch Sisters on BET. Then, number two, First Wives Club on BET Plus. Baby. Baby. Bye -bye. And then, I would have to say Black Lightning. And then my fourth one, all-time favorite, never gonna stop loving it, is number one Lady Detective Agency. And I'm a huge Jill Scott fan, so, yeah. Um, what PC or Mac? Mac. Literally, I'm a Mac whore. Seriously. I have an iPhone, AirPods, I got an Apple Watch on the way, got a MacBook. My laptop, my one of my MacBooks that I had for a long, 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 long time crashed because I overloaded it. When I didn't do good with the maintenance. So it was a matter of time before it happened. Um and this is the XR, I think. I'm about to upgrade in a few days though, because it's just time for an upgrade. Like my phone's due for an upgrade, so why not get the 11? Um, how tall are you? I think I'm like five seven, five seven and a half. I think. I don't know. But yeah.